This is one of the bank vaults. Because where I'm staying at, the Drury Plaza Hotel used to be the Alamo National Bank. I've been looking at some of these old photos and it shows the his history of this. For example, this guy. This is the Alamo National Bank. You can see uh, this is how it looks like from the top. So it's actually a historical building which has been converted into the Drury Plaza Hotel which is right next to the Riverwalk. That's how it looks like. It's actually a really nice area of San Antonio. <clears throat> so right now, I'm gonna go out and make a little run, pick up some items at the store before heading out. My shuttle is gonna take me to the airport at 12 noon. And then from there, I'm gonna fly out of San Antonio. My experience here in San Antonio has been really nice. The weather has been great, and everything about this town has been pleasant. There's really good access to the river walk from this hotel. I'm just gonna go to HEB actually to get some food items so I don't starve while I'm flying through those airports since most of the restaurants are closed these days. Plus there's a lot of junk food and I don't like that. So it's only a 12 minute walk and I'll get to my supermarket here. Yes, here at HEB is only a dollar sixty nine. It's super cheap. It's one of the benefits of living in Texas. They're still working on this housing development. Construction work is in full swing. I'm trying to finish up the project. I finished my tour here in San Antonio, Texas. I really enjoyed it. It was a great experience. I'm gonna have my lunch now, and then I'm gonna head down to the hotel lobby to catch my shuttle to the airport and continue on my journey. Let's see how this vegetarian sushi is. I got it yesterday. Tastes pretty good. Here's an old 1930 Ford that's in the lobby. These doors are closed because there's not much traffic. And only 36 rooms are rented out of 310. So that's about 10% occupancy at the Riverwalk downtown Drury Plaza. San Antonio Airport. Let's see where my flight is. I'm going to Las Vegas. It's only 12, 13 and no one's in line. No one's checking in. The bookstore is closed, but Starbucks is somewhat open without any clients. Taking Southwest. San Antonio Airport. Super quiet here. These two restaurants closed down. This gate's not being used. So, if you're familiar with the San Antonio airport, this place is normally bustling. They even have a kids area at the end of Terminal A, which right now is deserted. There's a place for your pets. <coughs> There's a flight on American. American's flight to Charlotte was canceled. It's canceled even though there's a plane outside. The play area here is also closed from the 20th. 
That was a few days ago, six days ago. It's completely closed. So that's it. I'm gonna wait for my flight to Las Vegas. Now hand sanitizer is offered along with a notice here. I'll take a seat over here at A14. My flight leaves out of A12. But I got here about two hours early, expecting long lines, just joking. And so far the flight is scheduled to go because the other two flights this morning to Vegas were canceled, so they consolidated three flights into one. When I looked at the website, it said 10 minutes or less for Terminal A, but uh, times can change really quickly, it said. So. Also, since there's only 25 of you and it's a really big plane, I'm going to need everybody sitting forward of the emergency exit row, okay? Your boarding number. Only 25 passengers. If I have any pre board passengers, I'll take those first. Not that many passengers. The plane I'll be taking. Oh, the second blue light. The second blue light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Second set of blue lights? Yes. All right. Anywhere after the blue light you can't sit, but anywhere up in here you can. Okay, I'll do that one. Thanks. for them anymore. to Las Vegas, back to Sin City. I'm gonna catch the tram now and try to get to the exit. I got it. Great. So that was a good flight. It was about two and a half hours from San Antonio and back in Vegas. Please stand clear of the tram doors. There was literally only two passengers plus me on that tram coming out. I'm gonna go to baggage claim, go to, to the departures, and get in my ride. The first thing you see at baggage claim is the liquor store, because everyone in Las Vegas loves liquor. Oh, look at this. There's no flowers at all in the vending machine. I wonder if the liquor store is even open. Yeah, the bars are all down. So no liquor there. Now let's check to see what's happening here. And it's only 3.34. Of course, the airport casino is closed. They even put the strap around it so no one actually sits down there. They put, the put them around everyone. They even put uh, masking tape at the... Oh, look at this. Someone forgot their M95 mask. So that's it. Right in the middle of the day, I think there's only one flight that came in that was me. 
and all the passengers are already gone. Hotels are so cheap now. Only 29 bucks a night, no resort fee. 100% refundable, the security deposit. So if you have this one, you can get stay at the Royal Resort for just $29 per night. This is outside at departures level at 338. Where's everybody? There's only one car that way and one car that way. What's happening inside? Probably nothing also. How are you? Hey, fantastic, how are you? <laughs> so you still having to chase people away? Uh, sometimes. Really? Yeah. What are they doing? Just going, dropping off their friends and then going into the terminal or something? Or? Uh, so, well, this is my first day back. Uh, oh. So usually, yes, people will go inside uh. with their family while they're going to check their boarding pass <laughs> and they'll leave the car unattended. But oh, man. I think right now we're pretty today's been okay it's slow and I, <laughs> I just got out here today we start at three o'clock so oh okay i haven't noticed nothing so nothing. far so good so far so good <laughs> all right i'm waiting for my ride they usually pick me up here looks like my ride just came hi you were you were before we finished.